in the air yes from here comes from Indiana oh look at this oh yeah See, I'm the rose between two thorns <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back yeah <laughs> hiding those people we don't know yeah and you can say I haven't said what day it is or anything okay it's um, Sunday morning October 9th I don't know what I don't know what time it is. It's, no idea. Uh, Twelve twenty one. Twelve twenty one Pacific time. Yeah. There you go. It is Monday morning, October 10th, 10 26 a.m. We're all just getting started, waking up, showers, all that. My sister's in some work meetings, and then she's going to cut my hair. She's a retired hairdresser, so it's all good. I can't wait. Of course, being gentle of my owie. Yeah, anyway, I've got this big scab up here. It's driving me nuts. I can't wait till it comes off. Anyway, I'm gonna drink my bone broth. I'm sure we'll get up to some art. I'll bring you with me when I can. I'll be back. So we've been drawing all afternoon after we got our errands done, right? Yes. We came in here while the other two had to finish work and uh, my sister had a project for me. She said, just take your time, it's fine. Oh, not a problem. I finished it in one one day. One day, yeah, a couple hours. So she uh, plays a game, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Yep, D and D. D and D, yeah. So they're doing a themed game coming up, and she has um, a journal she's making for it. We showed her how to distress the pages, which she's all like into, but she wanted some drawing done on it. So I did that for her. I'll put a picture here. And that was a lot of fun. She didn't think I'd get it done so quickly, but I mean. Take your time a couple weeks, she said. <laughs> I mean, I draw all the time, like it was no big deal. Anyway, we're gonna go out for Mexican food. I'll get some video if I can, cause the little restaurant is really cute. They have lots of artwork on the walls and stuff like that, so. Margaritas. <laughs> well, for them, I don't drink, so. I might be driving. Not me. Yeah, no. <laughs> Driving no. near Portland, trust me. When I joke that Portland is the land of much water, many bridges, and no direct route to anywhere, Leslie, am I kidding? No. See? No. See? No, she's not. We we are not a grid. There's no grid. We don't have a grid. We don't no. know what the grid is. Like it's not a thing. So. <laughs> They're off the grid. We're off. Well, <laughs> off the grid. Off your rocker. Like it could be a thing. Right. Anyway. It's a thing. <laughs> yeah. We'll be back. <laughs> So it's Tuesday, October something. What day is it? October 11th. 11th. It's, 2022. Yeah, and it's, let's see, 5.04 p.m. That's right. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, yeah. Or else it's 8 o'clock, 8.05 Indianapolis time. Yeah, she's on Indiana time. Um, Go we, Colts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we haven't vlogged before now because we've just been busy and we've been in the art room for hours we had no idea what time it was until a little while ago when I looked at my Fitbit and went, hey, do you know it's after like four o'clock already? It's late. Anyway, she's been creating on the table. I've been painting. We've been having a lot of fun. What have you guys been doing? I've also been doing some more purging. Um, <laughs> Jim, I'm sorry, but some of it's going in there. And yeah, sorry. He's the one that has to lift the suitcase. I don't. Yeah. Whether he likes it or not. Yeah. <laughs> but it's going to a good home. It is. I mean, you know. It somebody gets used. <laughs> yeah, somebody needs to use it because in my place it's just drying up. So yeah. anyway. All right. We're going to try to keep Mr. Bob calm. He's not having a great time at work right now. And maybe cook him dinner. I know that's not normal for me these days to cook him dinner. But we'll, we'll do we'll something. Yeah, yeah. 
and we'll be back. Bye. Hello again. We're back. We're back. It's Wednesday, October. Do we even know? We've 12. Lost. 12, 3 50 p.m. We've kind of lost track a little bit, but you know, sorry about the light behind me. Um, <laughs> we've been out running errands, making sure get, she gets souvenirs for all the family before she leaves. She's now, do you have a sewing needle and thread? <laughs> I, I had to ask. No. <laughs> I used I, I used to make wedding dresses, but I don't have any thread. I told her I had a really stupid question. I wasn't yeah. kidding. No. <laughs> and then, and so she's working on some of that, and she's um she's making tags. They're just great. Like, you should hand me one so I can show the people, the people, the peoples. Yeah, look, look at these. She does more junk journaling, vintage ephemera type stuff than I do. Oh, there's another one. And she just does a great job at it. Thanks. You don't have to know how to draw to make art. I've nope. always telling you guys that. And and you don't have to have expensive materials. She doesn't use expensive stuff no. to do this. Hello. Um, Coffee and um cheesecloth from the cooking section at the store. Yeah, and don't buy it. Don't buy it at a Buy it in the kitchen. Don't section. buy it at the fabric store. There buy you go. it in the kitchen section and or Dollar Tree. Yes, right cheap. now is October. You not only can get re regular cheesecloth because they'll have it in the whole Halloween section mm -hmm. to like look like spider webs or something. Yes. But you can get it in black. It's really easy to find right now in black. Oh, I didn't think of that. Hello. Black. Dollar Tree. Just go to Dollar Tree. I know it's Dollar Twenty Five Tree now, but yeah. And if and if you're gonna um, distress it, if you don't drink coffee, just get instant coffee. Yeah, yeah. Or um, and stick it in there while you go to work. Tea works. Tea works too. Yes. Red wine. I used to know somebody who did paintings with red wine. Oh. Turned out great. Oh. I'd rather drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, that's I'd okay. rather drink it. I don't drink anymore, but I I, <laughs> I, do. I understand the sentiment. Um, <laughs> we. I also have been working on this painting while she's here. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask y'all, is anyone else getting Partridge Family vibes? <laughs> I just, you know, I did cut out these birds today. It is not a partridge. It is actually the Oregon State bird. And I just, I think I'm going to paint them on there. What do you all think? And what should I call it? Because I have absolutely no idea. Obviously, copyright, we can't use the name of the TV show. But, I mean, Hello. is it just me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. That's it for the minute. Tomorrow, what are you doing? No idea. Probably hanging out in the art room? Yes. Uh, yeah, probably. I don't know. Friday? You'll see when we get there. <laughs> we'll film some of it if we can, because, yeah, people want to see yeah. those in the know. Yeah. So we're going to get into trouble. Good trouble. Yeah, it'll be good, though. All right, that's it. I'll be back. Hey, people, it's October 13th. It's just about 10 a.m. I don't know. Yeah. October 13th, 9.44 a.m. Some of my neighbors have sold their house recently and they're finally moving out, I guess, today because there's big giant moving trucks blocking the road. So I guess I'm not going anywhere today. <laughs> anyway, um, they're, they've been great neighbors. I'm sorry to see them go. The new owner of the house's name is Gina. Uh, that's going to be weird. I think it's the first time in my entire life I've had someone in the neighborhood with my same name. So anyway, Wesley is upstairs taking a shower. I've just been taking my time this morning and relaxing, but it's time for me to go make the bed. And when she's done, I need to get in the shower and all that stuff. I'll be back. Yeah, crazy hair day, I know. Uh... Anyway, I am here. I don't know what that is. Something from Tiger Family Dental. Crap. Um, just checking on things on my computer. And I did get an email quite and or a Facebook messenger message. No, Instagram message from a company that wants to send me some product, 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 um, to create video content around. And they have oil-based paint pens. Mm -hmm. 
I don't normally do unboxings on here, except for the rare occasion. I don't normally do sponsorships or anything of the sort anymore, but I am thinking about doing this one because of the kind of product it is. And I'm wondering how they would work on painted rocks. Their name is Artie Q. So I think I'm gonna send them my PO Box address and see what they send me. And then we will unbox it, unbox it in part of the vlog and see what they look like. And then we might do a little short painted rock series with them, see how they work. They make paint pens and then DIY canvas stretcher bars and canvas frames. It's an odd combination of things to make. And I don't know what they're gonna send me. I, it, but we'll see. All right, I think that's it for the minute. I'm gonna fish through my emails and respond to them and all of that stuff. I'll be back. While Leslie was um, going through some things, I told her, take some of this home. Because um, I have too much. I know you need it for your art room. You know. Anyway, while she was doing that, I was making some homemade watercolor pigments or paint pigments, which I've been thinking about for a long time. And um, boy, are the results interesting. I'm sure on some of them, if I ground the starter thing up more I'd probably get different results but I'm kind of okay with some of the um paints being chunky for lust lack lack of a better word and um sort of the effect that you get on that and then when the paint dries you can sort of rub the chunks off and it leaves an interesting texture in the color which I really enjoy anyway I use tea um, a red lava rock, turmeric, lavender, and then some rose petals and lavender. Are you ready? Yep, those are the colors I got. Hang on. So, wow, the result. I didn't even grind up this the lavender that much. And look at that color, you guys. That's what was dried lavender. And I put some watercolor medium, ox gall, and water. And then ground it up. Turmeric was already ground, of course. You can see the bright, vibrant color. The red lava rock, that didn't surprise me because I've done, I, took, I have this little piece of lava rock. I've had it for a while. I do little things with it every now and then, and it really does tint or dye very well. You can see a little bit of the lava or dirt on the paint, but when you brush it away, you're still left with, left with this interesting red-orange color. And then this is tea. I'll so experimenting more with making sort of pigments or paints or whatever you want to call them with um, organic matter. Um, are they light fast? Probably not. Are they going to be darker than that? Probably not. Now these are still wet, so we will do a second swatch after they dry and we reconstitute them. I don't know what that's going to do to the color, if anything. Anyway, that was a spun way to, uh, spun way. That was a fun way to spend a few minutes or an hour or more. I'll be back. of squirrels a group a pack I've seen at least a dozen of them today in and out of Bob's feeders his little menagerie just, you know it's a thing I don't know hey we just got our tattoos done and Did a thing. we are both covered I can't there's mine right there um, <laughs> we will put some pictures here like right here of our tattoos they are similar, Oops, but sorry, not, sorry. it's okay. Similar, but not identical. That's on purpose.
And so anyway, very happy. I would, we went to Skin City Tattoo and Body Piercing. Here's their card. I'll link their website down below. They're in here in Tigard, Oregon. And we saw Garrett. He um, was fabulous. Fabulous. Super nice young man. Very talented. He did a great job. So anyway, make an appointment with him if you need tattoo work done. And check out the shop if you need something else done. Anyway, we're going to go have a home now. I don't know about Leslie, but I'm kind of hungry. So. Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah. So we need to have at least a little something before dinner. She's All right. Crackers. Something like that, yeah. I'll be back. Yes, I look like crap. It is 6.22 a.m. Saturday morning, October 15th, I think. Leslie, is that right? I'm here. Yeah, that's right, right? I'm right on the date. It is 6 the 15th. Yeah, see, I got it right. We are taking Miss Leslie back to the airport. She's headed home today. I'm so sorry to see her go. The week has flown by. We're already planning her next trip. So, you know, there's that. Anyway, I need way more coffee before we do this this morning, but I will try to get some shots of Portland as we go in because it should be real pretty because it is still dark out and all the lights are on. It's still dark out. And you can't see the dirt, so it looks prettier in the dark, like most of us of a certain age. All right, I'll be back. just after 10 a.m. If you can hear the noise in the background, I'm doing laundry. I've got one bed that's been stripped, washed, and remade already. Um, and the other bedroom and the bathroom upstairs stuff is in the laundry, along with my own laundry is in the laundry. Anyway, I got the downstairs clean. Uh, Hazel, our robot vacuum, did her job. She's all done. Things are put back to rights. Uh, the dishes are done. Bob is off at Cars and Coffee with one of his cars, cool. Um, and I'm just gonna sit here and watch some YouTube and drink some bone broth. And yes, my hair is wet because I did finally take a shower. All right, I'll be back. Okay, it's just about 11 a.m. We're gonna go out for a walk. I haven't done this since uh, before we went to Hawaii. So it's been a bit. Our old neighbors who sold their house moved out and it looks like the new ones have moved in already. It's only been like 24 hours, but anyway, cool. Hopefully I meet him soon. Her name is Gina. That's a little weird. Anyway, we're going to go walk the neighborhood and see what we can see because I haven't done this since before we went to Hawaii. So let's go check it out. I'll be yes. back. So boy, did we get a lot done today after we dropped Leslie off at the airport. We got all of the laundry done i got the guest bedrooms both cleaned beds remade ready to go for whenever the next time people are here is um halloween decorations are out we hadn't done that yet so that's done we went to the grocery store put all that away bob is barbecuing some steaks for dinner right now i think my computer's on um i got a spice grinder at the store because i want to continue working on experimenting with making my own like pigments from things I find and um it works great to grind up things like the dried flowers so yay anyway we'll keep playing with that there's some channels I'll recommend down below for those of you who are also interested in trying something like that anyway because I do not know what I'm doing uh, we are going to watch some TV, catch up on She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. Yes, we're fans. Oops, sorry, hold on. Okay, okay. hold on, hold on. Oops, here we go, sort of. Okay, so anyway, we're going to do that and just chill. Tomorrow, I think I'm having lunch with my sister and my daughter. I think we're going to go... Outlet shopping? I don't know. So anyway, um, yeah, it's been a good, it's been a, it's been a good week. It's been a good day. I'm pretty happy with it. I've got 
to work this next week on Artsy Trio because I have to do a video for this month that has to come out in like a couple of weeks. I have a bunch of stuff to cut out, new listings in the Etsy shop, skull stickers, and also tropical textures. These were the samples that I printed to photograph for the listing, and I will use them, so I need to cut them out. Um, I'm gonna finish the painting that's on the easel. <sighs> and lots of lots of ed video editing and other stuff to do, so as usual. Anyway, I hope you guys have had a great week. I hope you enjoyed seeing Leslie and I try to stay out of trouble. <laughs> I don't know if you call that trouble or not. Anyway, I'm already thinking about maybe I need something on this arm. I know, right? Anyway, that's it for right now. I hope you guys are all staying safe, staying healthy, staying creative, that you are... You know, just doing what makes you happy. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment or question down below if you have one. Uh, check out the video description for relevant links and ways to support the content here on the channel. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.